What's up everyone, I'm Arkansas Storm Team Meteorologist Alex Libby and I'm making this video to discuss the potential for a significant severe weather event Tuesday, November 29th, 2022. So we have a couple of days until that gets here. So we're really preliminary, but it's really looking concerning with the potential for widespread severe weather. So here are the headlines, the timing of this, the worst part of it will be late Tuesday into Wednesday, but right now it's looking like, it's looking like all day Tuesday we could see severe weather. Wind and tornadoes look to be the biggest concerns with the ingredients that are in place and the setup that we're dealing with. And in Arkansas, the eastern part of the state is the most concerning. So the zoomed out, the big picture of this event, we have a low pressure system, a strong one, forming over the Rockies Monday afternoon. Monday here in Arkansas is going to be really nice. We're going to see mostly sunny skies, temperatures in the 60s, a light south wind. But west of here, this is a much stronger southerly wind, and that's going to bring in more humidity. It's going to be windy. And those are part of the ingredients that you need for severe weather. And those ingredients are going to be moving into Arkansas Tuesday. Tuesday morning, it's going to be windy out of the south, 20 to 30 miles per hour. We're going to see the gusts. And that southerly wind is going to bring in more humidity. And then the third ingredient you need for severe weather is something to set it off. So we're going to have the wind. We're going to have the humidity. And that low pressure system and cold front, that's a system that could set it off. So that's why this system looks so concerning. As it moves through, the cold front will help set off more severe thunderstorms. And as it goes away, that severe weather risk will be down to zero. So it'll be out of here by Wednesday, but we'll see a lot colder temperatures. So let's time this out hour by hour starting Monday afternoon. Like I said, it's going to be sunny. It's going to be nice. But that quickly changes as strong southerly winds blow into Arkansas. This is Tuesday at 9 a.m., and you can see we're already dealing with some showers and even some thunderstorms indicated on forecast track by those yellows and oranges. Nothing widespread, but we could even see a severe thunderstorm as early as Tuesday morning. But as you can see into the afternoon, it will become more widespread, and forecast track is putting out some impressive-looking thunderstorms. Again, it's not going to be exactly where forecast track shows it, but it is telling us that ingredients for supercell thunderstorms are there and remember a supercell thunderstorm is something that can produce a tornado damaging winds hails all that and we're going to be seeing that tuesday afternoon and tuesday evening and you can tell they're going to be supercells indicated by these hooks so you have a little hook there you have a little hook here in eastern arkansas a little one up here in batesville near batesville a little, little one over here by memphis and that's why we're so concerned for the potential for not only a severe weather outbreak but for parts of the south, including here in Arkansas, a tornado outbreak. Just remember, a couple weeks back, November 4th, we had 16 confirmed EF1, EF0 tornadoes and a couple of EF2s. And with this setup, we could see much of the same thing with this storm going through. And again, the most concerning area will be eastern Arkansas. And this is the cold front. So once that gets through, that severe weather risk will go down to zero. So the Storm Prediction Center already has an enhanced risk, a level three out of five risk in eastern Arkansas. And it's kind of rare for them to issue this high of a risk more than 48 hours away. They had this issued yesterday. If you're in that orange shaded area, you're most likely to see tornadoes, damaging winds and hail and even some flooding. Again, tornadoes and winds, the biggest concern. And just because you're not in the orange shaded area doesn't mean you won't see severe weather. Here in Little Rock, we're in the slight risk level two and then in mina de queen level one risk so your chance to see a tornado is going to be lower in little rock it's going to be much lower in mina but it's still going to be there so everyone in arkansas maybe with exception of fayetteville needs to be weather aware on tuesday and i'm fully expecting the national weather service or the storm prediction center to upgrade this enhanced risk to possibly a moderate risk as early as monday as early as tomorrow so again, reiterating, the biggest concern we have with this event is going to be tornadoes, straight line winds, large hails possible within the strongest thunderstorms, but it will not be widespread at all. And with these storms moving so fast with those 60, 70 mile an hour winds up aloft, we're probably not going to see much flooding. So again, this is around 48 hours out, so there will be changes, but either way, Tuesday afternoon is definitely a concerning looking severe weather outbreak, and we need to be weather aware. That means have two ways, two plus ways receiving alerts. That could be the Arkansas Storm Team app, another weather app, your TV, and very importantly, a weather radio with batteries because if your house loses power, you're not gonna be able to use your TV 
and also have your phone charged in preparation for severe weather on Tuesday. Again, changes will come, but that's what we know so far.